So we've tipped the machine onto its back. It just makes it a lot easier to get at everything. And as you know, we're going to set the timing. And the timing mark. Needles in the middle. The timing mark is that little dot behind the needle. So as the needle's coming up, the tip of the needle should align with that dot. So that if the needle's on the far left, you can just see the hook is just above the eye of the needle. So we're going to move that back to the center. get a bit closer for you so you can see on the upward stroke the needle is center to the little dot on the back of the raceway okay the other thing to notice at this point is that the needles going up the hook comes round the needle comes down the hook comes round the hook does two full rotations in the time the needle goes up and down and that's important because it can be 180 degrees out so it can the, the timing can be right but it can be out of sync with the hook the thing we're looking for is that the needles up the feed dogs are up the needles down the feed dogs are down and that are the two things that you need to get right when we reset the timing. So we've taken the bottom off, or we, we're going to take the bottom off, but we've taken all of the um, feet off. Six in total. This is the only one, rather strange. It's got a bigger washer. So put that one to one side, the rest are the same. The, the base is clipped in on the end. So with it on its back, we're not going to pull it straight off, we're going to turn it and then it will unclip. Now, the bit we need to get to is the drive belt which is here. So basically, we think that the belt's jumped on the on the toothed belt here. Now, you can alter the timing here, but it is and that is a lot easier. You just undo the grub screw, twist it round, do it back up, but it puts everything else out of sync ever so slightly. So, uh, looking at that. We are going to pop the end off. So two screws holding the end on. One's already been taken out. That one there, another one there. So we just get the stand out of the way. There's another screw here. Two hands really. So we've slackened that screw, we haven't taken it out. Where is it? There. And the end will come off. That will allow you then to get at the drive belt, which is this big one. The adjuster, if necessary, and also to get the belt off the pulley so they're not normally that tight so you can ease the belt off the pulley twist everything into place and then pop it back on and you don't normally need to undo the tensioner if it's tight and you do then it's not really a problem um, you just undo the screw there ease the tensioner away get the belt on but you do need to remember that when the tension, the belt tensions, it will pull itself and things will turn. That's why it is far better to try and do it with the tensioner in place. You just slide that off 
like that and then you're able to twist the bottom shaft I think your tooth teeth out but which way I don't know twist the shaft so that everything's right and then wiggle the belt back onto the teeth and it will go on um, maybe just ease it with tweezers or something um, get that on and then check recheck it takes a little bit of time just to just see the belt's gone back on we haven't touched the tensioner so potentially we could take the belt off reposition everything pop the belt back on then we give the hand wheel a couple of whizzes round just to make sure everything's sitting correctly before we then recheck the position of the needle with the hook not the best effort but hopefully you've got the picture and if you do get in trouble just drop me a message